Circulation. Why is it important? Your circulatory system travels 60,000 miles around your body while your heart circulates around 10 pints of blood each day. Blood vessels, the tubes that transmit blood throughout your body, make up that system. Your body's tissues receive oxygen and nutrition from the blood, which also eliminates waste and carbon dioxide. How to determine if your legs have poor circulation? You may have symptoms like the following if issues with your circulatory system prevent blood from flowing properly to your legs. Tingling or numbness in your feet. Muscle pain. Frozen feet. Difficulty attaining or maintaining an erection. Issues with attention and memory. Scars that heal slowly. Dilated veins. Edema or swelling. Fatigue. These signs could indicate one of several circulatory disorders, including diabetes, high blood pressure, a blood clot, atherosclerosis, a buildup of fats and other materials in your arteries that is referred to as plaque. This buildup causes peripheral arterial disease, PAD, which causes your leg's arteries to become narrow. How can you increase the circulation in your legs? 1. You can stop smoking. Smokeless tobacco, e-cigarettes, and cigarettes all contain nicotine, which can damage blood vessels and increase your risk of peripheral arterial disease. Numbness, weakness, cramping, coldness, and pain, typically in the legs, are signs of PAD. Additionally, it increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. 2. Maintain blood pressure control. Your arterial walls experience increased strain due to high blood pressure. This increases the risk of atherosclerosis and peripheral arterial disease. A healthy blood pressure is less than 120 over 80 for the majority of people. Regularly check your blood pressure and seek treatment if it is high. 3. Remain hydrated. Maintaining a healthy blood volume requires drinking adequate water. You can maintain healthy circulation as a result. Per day, aim for 8 glasses. Limit your intake of alcohol and coffee because they can dehydrate you. 60% of a person's body is water. It would only be logical that our task would be to constantly replace the water loss through everyday urination and sweating. Most Americans are dehydrated, which can lead to a variety of health issues, including impaired circulation, if left unchecked. To avoid becoming overhydrated, you should attempt to drink enough water each day and spread out consumption throughout the day. To find out exactly how much water you should drink each day, it is recommended to consult your doctor. 4. Exercise. One of the finest ways to increase circulation is through exercise. Movement of any kind increases blood flow. Your heart rate may increase during exercise, which causes your blood to circulate more quickly. But even stretching can be beneficial. Stretching causes your muscles and tendons to lengthen, which promotes unrestricted blood flow via your vessels. The benefits of exercise to your physical and emotional well-being are immeasurable. Additionally, it is a fantastic way to increase circulation in your legs. We advise including at least 30 minutes of daily moderate exercise in your schedule. Some of our preferred methods for including daily activity are as follows. Walking, cycling, running, yoga, and fitness classes. Rowing, swimming and cardio. Similar to exercise, stretching is essential for the health of your body and circulatory system, especially when you start a daily exercise routine. Stretching improves blood flow to the body's organs and tissues. Every day, take a few minutes to stretch your body before and after working out or before you go to bed. 5. Take up yoga. In addition to the advantages of stretching, yoga's ability to calm the body may increase blood flow. Your organs receive oxygenated blood through twisting motions. Poses that place the head lower than the heart can assist the blood flow from the lower body to the heart and brain. Yoga also increases the hemoglobin content of your red blood cells. A molecule called hemoglobin helps your blood deliver oxygen throughout your body. 6. Rise up. The circulation in your lower body is reduced when you spend a lot of time sitting during the day. Which may also make you more susceptible to diseases including obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Utilize a standing desk or take frequent, brief walks to improve your circulation. 7. Check out compression socks. So that blood doesn't pool there for an extended period of time, these socks gently squeeze your legs. They facilitate the blood's ascent back to your heart. Find out from your doctor which compression socks are best for you. Those who experience mild to severe varicose vein problems are a great candidate for compression socks or stockings. When worn frequently, they are intended to aid in enhancing circulation in the leg, particularly in the calf. 8. Watch what you eat. 
Healthy eating can help you avoid circulatory problems like atherosclerosis, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Experts advise you to reduce salt and saturated fat intake. Consume foods high in mono and polyunsaturated fats. Consume a lot of fiber and antioxidants, such as vitamin C and E. Add fish to your diet. Omega-3 rich foods are excellent choices for enhancing the health of your cardiovascular system and general circulation. Every week, eating at least three servings of foods high in these fatty acids is advised by the American Heart Association. Options for food include walnuts, flax seed, and kale, squash seeds, fish liver oil, fatty fish, such sardines, herring, tuna, or salmon. Thanks for watching, if you like the information, do consider subscribing to Bestie Health and give it a like.